Hi, my name is Paul Hodson from TriStar Web Solutions and welcome to the first of our training videos for OpenCart. Today we're going to show you how to create categories, um, fill in the information for these categories with SEO friendly URLs. Um, so let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is go to the top menu where it says catalog and click on categories. Now the best thing to do is to have sort of already made a list of the categories that you're looking for for adding for each section of the website. And part of this is, the reason for this is that um, you don't want to be duplicating the same name for categories uh, because this will affect your SEO when you look at uh, the, the safe URLs. So let's start. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be inserting over on the top right and we're going to be creating a new jewellery section for our website. Um, and we're in the UK so uh, you might see that jewellery is spelt differently here so um, you know so we don't want any comments for incorrect spelling because we're in the UK so the first thing we're doing is we're setting up our top level category so we've added jewellery we're now going to uh, add a meta tag description so um, this is going to be jewellery spell it right <laughs> oh Okay, very basic. So what we're doing here is we're adding a meta description that also uses the keywords and the fact that, that our jewellery is all going to be silver. Um, we've then got keywords in here. So again, you're duplicating the um, words that you've got within your title structure uh, for your categories, plus also in your tags and descriptions. So we've got silver jewellery. And then we can, because we're on the top level category, we can add specific items to this. So silver bracelets, silver charm bracelets, etc. And each of those you'll notice is um, split up by a comma here because that's what you need to use for the meta keywords. Now the next thing we need to do is add a description. So um, again we need to look at using keywords and phrases that are relevant to our category um, because Google is going to be looking for content that's in, it, that's important for a search. So if you've got duplication throughout without being silly, um, then you're going to get the best results from that. So we're going to put in here a selection of bracelets, sorry, silver jewellery. Including silver Okay, um, you wouldn't put etc on there, but that's just to sort of demonstrate that this is our content for the page, and this is actually going to appear at the top of your category page. Now, you don't have to have, to have um, a description on your category page if you don't wish to. However, the duplication, or, as I say, of content and words will actually improve your. Um, positioning on Google if, if you do so and if you are uh, if, you, if you sort of um, bold the odd word for instance we've got jewelry in there and we've got charm bracelets 
depending on on what your page is that again will help weight the um, the ranking for for that page so once we've added this part we then need to decide where it belongs within your structure tree of your categories so we click on data at the top there and you'll see that we've got a first one here which is parent category now if I click on that you'll see that I've got lots of categories already in there and if I was to add it to men it will appear under men if I add it to um, this one here budget screens it will appear underneath that sub category of budget screen so it'll be a third level down but what we actually want to do here is create a top level category so if I click on none that's going to appear at the top level um, default store if you've got more than one store you'll be able to tick and decide which stores that, that this category belong to but obviously we've only got the ones so we leave that as it is now the SEO keyword is actually the name of your page or your category so we're calling that the same as it is for the um, category uh, that we're, we're just producing which is jewelry but if you were a level down for instance and it was silver bracelets you would add your page title in this way and this is going to become part of the URL so you're putting a hyphen between those two words now this is where it's important to really look at what you're doing with regards to um, initial um, page structure and site structure because you can't have duplicates here if you have duplicates then you're going to have a problem with the pages not being recognized properly so for instance this if you've got a, a category of silver charm bracelets this would then be called silver charm bracelets which would be underneath the silver bracelet section but anyway on this one it is jewelry so we're clicking jewelry um, we can then browse and add an image now I suggest sort of images should be around 600 by 600 as a standard and that will fit into to most sites with the ability to zoom on a product image but it will sort everything out for you so if we, if we click and browse for a file we then need to go to the upload find our folder on our machine here um, so I'm looking for a folder called jewelry and we're then going to add an image so let's just pick any image here click on that that then is going to add an image which we will find here now what I've just done is probably not the greatest way of doing it because we've got loads of images that all have to load into this box here before we can actually select one and sort of actually creating your categories and the time spent in doing this is, is much longer so what I suggest if you click on the plus here let's just go back to that click on the plus we then add a new folder called categories and click submit okay if I then click on this folder and then go upload click the image any old image that I'm selecting there we've got an image straight away so it's much easier to find and manage your images so to to add this image I click on that image there that adds that to the page okay we then got down here forget about this one for the moment um, we've got a sort order so if you want a specific category to appear higher than another in your category tree you can change the sort order and if you want to enable it or disable it so we're working on a section that's not ready to go live yet we disable it and it's not going to appear at this point well let's just click enable for the moment and then let's click save okay so here we are we've got a new category well actually I've already done one before but let's let's go into our storefront here okay so here we are on our home page and if we hover over our main category here and go down we'll see that we've now got jewelry appearing uh, in our menu structure
Um, you'll also see that um, with this particular of, uh, version of OpenCart, the category image actually appears in that drop-down bar. So over on the right-hand side, you'll see the picture of the, uh, the bracelet on a, on a box that we use for this category. If I click on jewellery, we'll find that there's not actually any subcategories to this section yet. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do on our next uh, tutorial, which is adding um, subcategories. Um, I hope you found our open cart um, tutorial useful. Um, we will be adding more on a regular basis, so I hope to uh, see that you're coming back to, to find out more. If there's anything you do need to know about um, and any other features, um, let us know and we'll look at whether we can put a tutorial video together uh, for that as well. Um, this is Paul Hodson at TriStar Web Solutions and thank you for watching.